Hello guys, how are you? The video today is about the T-34 from Tamiya in uh, 135th scale and going from this to this. Um, it was a very interesting kit to build. Fun, simple and I hope you really appreciate and like this video. Well guys, after a uh, long break on modeling, um, a lot of work, I needed to be focused on what I was doing and still do. I, res I thought that I could build this uh, T-34 in 135 scale in Russian colors and in the process having a bit of fun with it. Uh, the kit was not hard to assemble, you know, Tamiya 1980s kit, uh, simple kit to build, uh, good on detail but not photo edge, crazy, the barrel was plastic and the, the, the tracks were rubber, so I've ordered some uh, metal tracks. Unfortunately, they sent me KV-1 tracks not t34 tracks so I was kind of uh, forced to finish with uh, the rubber ones but and please note in the end of the video the tracks are not glued to the wheels because I want to replace those okay please bear that in mind okay uh, the kit was very simple straightforward and exactly what I needed to just relax a bit have a bit of fun and to make some mistakes along the way which turned out to help on the build and you will see further ahead can see very simple build very straightforward no problem at all just cut the pieces remove excess styrene and always dry fit dry fit dry fit dry fit I worked on halves 
on this kit, upper hole, lower hole, because I dry fit it so much, so many times, that I knew exactly that it was going to fit perfectly. So that allows me to work on halves, you know, instead of gluing everything and painting it uh, all around as one piece, I painted a tower, the turret, sorry, and the upper hole and the lower hole separately. I'm building a late T-34 model, the late uh, 1943 model with a cupola on the turret. It was put on production in the summer of 1943. Um, like the early model, it rendered distinguished services in various battles, as you well know, until the end of the war and way ahead. The idea of the turret with a cupola was incorporated in the basic design of the T-34 8-85, I guess which appeared later.
here I have to do to do some modifications. Uh, I had um, an Edward set, photo edge set. Um, very curiously here the light shows a bit more of super glue than it should, uh, but no problem as long as the fingers, your fingers doesn't touch the super glue. And the excess I remove it with um, kind of a devolder, uh, super glue remover, cleaner. So it was a clean build on this section at the end. This tank that I'm depicting, this T34, is, uh, as you can see the marks, they represent the 2nd Battalion of the 181st Tank Brigade, 18th Tank Corps that rendered distinguished services in the Kursk battle tank-to-tank -tank fighting in the summer of 1943. I am uh, depicting it here, maybe a bit... Uh, I don't know how to say, maybe a bit too much on weathering. There aren't any pictures, color pictures of, of this one. Uh, the two pictures I saw actually looked like he was pretty battered. And I said to myself, well, I'm trying to just have fun here. And as you can see here, no fenders on this one. so. I tried to be as close as I could with the pictures that I had. So this means removing and cutting the fenders. I thought I should remove that plastic mold and replaced uh, the wire of the headlight with some copper one. Here uh, I was building my victory, which I'm still, uh, which I still am building the HMS Victory and one subscriber, very kind person, noticed that I was using some kind of tool that was not uh, actually for this, for that uh, work, so he sent me these, which I want to thank. Uh, thank you very much and as you can see they work like a charm, they are perfect for this kind of uh, work, so thank you very much my daughter uh, uses to say, there's still a lot of good people out there.
turret as you can see it has a very light slight uh, metal cast um, the barrel is not a metal one I should have uh, ordered one but even if I ordered the track the metal tracks and they sent me KV ones I didn't have any guarantee that the metal barrel would come to, for the T34 so either way the work is being done so no problem here um, the turret had uh, very good details uh, I, I like to believe that I enhanced those uh, casting metal textures just a bit and uh, please be the judge of that because it was a mistake and then I realized I was making a mistake and having so much fun that I couldn't stop and at the end all those mistakes turned out to be something cool I guess it just um first I gave it a coat of great primer uh, just to unify the paint work and now as you can see I'm using Russian 6k uh, to start the weathering process
And this is Hairspray. I wanted to play a bit with Hairspray since I saw for the first time the Hairspray technique. Um, I kind of messed it up. You will see. I over, extremely overreacted. Um, but I think that that kind of helped me in the end. And that's one of the funniest things I learned about modeling. Sometimes you are wrong, but <laughs> if you just be cool and stay cool and stay calm, you can turn something wrong into a, maybe a very right thing. I don't know, you be the judge of it, more ahead. Now here what I'm trying to do is, we have three tones of Russian uh, 4BO, Russian green. And I'm starting with a hairspray coat, let it dry, then apply the lighter coat, let it dry, then the second one, dry another layer of um, hairspray, and in the final touches of the paintwork, the color base for BO. Now I start chipping it and then I start chipping it uh, away but I made a mistake here. I am not chipping between colors. I first paid it all and then I started chipping. And to be honest I noticed as I was going but then I realized that I was having so much fun that I just couldn't stop. To see the paint being chipped away, um, it was kind of, it, it, it just, it was cathartic. I mean, I was having so much fun that I just couldn't stop. But in the end, I gave it one or two coats of um, 4BO uh, base coat and I toned down all the, that exaggerated result that I made and I do believe I turned, I turned things uh, a bit more acceptable. So as you can see, I overdid it like a boss, <laughs> like a boss, but um, in the end I gave one, two coats of 4BO Russian green color base on top of all that scratch and um, it gave it a bit of metal cast texture. Um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, the paint was like faded, disrupted, whatever you want to call it, and I really liked it, like this one went through hell and then on the break the crew just repainted it but never had the chance to apply primer, just applied the green paint on top of all that battle worn out damage as you can see.
After applying the decals, I used off-white, pearl white, and very uh, slowly started to paint on top of the decals after they were um, dried to give that appearance of hand-painted serial numbers. As you know, most of them painted the numbers just with a brush and with a bucket of paint. And the paint just washed away and I tried to give that effect. really uh, like to uh, take this opportunity to thank all my Patreons and all my supporters here on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for all your support, all your kind words, comments. Uh, you really do make a difference. So thank you. Thank you very much. As you can see I was doing chipping with a brush but if you want to take that process uh, more quickly be careful but you can use a sponge sponge technique it helps a lot but you have to try to have control and your sponge must not be very loaded with paint Regarding all this weathering and going forward and then backwards by accident or not, I just wanted to say very seriously, with no offense for that um, serious, more serious modeler and without any kind of offense to uh, anybody, that I am jumping, I don't know exactly the rules to build and weather armor so I don't know those rules and those rules for me are a bit cloudy right now but we are also taught to first get married then have children and all the rest so we sometimes jump procedures. I am sorry. Um, please tell me in the comments in the description below the best procedures, the best order to weather an armor. But here I'm just having fun.
these tracks? Well, these tracks were awful. As I told you, I ordered in the beginning of the build, before starting the build, some Frill Battle tracks and they sent me KV-1s instead, uh, by mistake. So, I've ordered a second uh, pair of metal ones, but they haven't arrived yet. So I'm just kind of improvising here, just trying some techniques on weathering tracks. But vinyl tracks, rubber tracks are are not bad, uh, not perfect, not very bad, but they're not easy, and the paint just peels off very easily. So when you apply this graphite powder. Uh, be careful, These, this is rubber, the paint doesn't adhere as, as well as in plastic or metal, so be careful. And I also tried to do, to do a bit of mud, but here ah, I, could be, I could have done it much, much better, okay? I'm not proud of this, but as I told you, I was having fun, uh, all I wanted was to weather the Russian tank, an old Russian tank. I don't know, you be the judge of it, please tell me in the comments below, but I do think that I managed at least to give it that worn out, uh, battle worn out effect. Um, and above all, I had fun. That's all that matters in the end. I also replaced this uh, plastic cable for copper one metal cable, so it was very cool. I would also like to say that the tracks are not glued to the wheels, okay? On the final reveal you will see it. That's because I want to replace those vinyl tracks with real metal ones, okay? doing some final touch-ups, um, some engine grime uh, leaks here and there, some small touches. Um, I'm not very experienced with uh, armor so any suggestions please do comment below. I'm always reading your comments, answering it, uh, trying to help if possible. So if you have any suggestions, please um, shoot it because I will, I will note it, uh, notice it. And I gave this one uh, finished. As always guys, thank you for your support on Patreon. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon and here, I'm here only to sustain a bit my hobby. And that's my aim. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this modest build. And as always guys, stay safe. And keep modeling guys. Keep modeling. Always. Always with a smile. Cheers. <laughs>